The teenager who admitted to killing an Indianapolis newlywed and father-to-be will spend decades in prison. A Marion County judge sentenced 18-year-old Simeon Adams to 55 years for killing Nathan Trapezano. Eyewitness News reporter Naomi Peskovitz spoke with the Trapezano family about that sentence. Sentenced to 55 years in the Indiana Department of Corrections, Simeon Adams may only serve half that time based on good behavior. But on this day, the sentence didn't matter. For Nathan Trapezano's family, life is forever changed. There's still anger there. There's still an immense pain, a huge hole in my heart. Still a remarkable moment in court as Nathan's wife, Jennifer, the mother of their small child, Cecilia, looked at Adams and said she would forgive him because that's what Nathan would have done and wanted. I look at him, like he's a human being. He doesn't have the heart and soul that my husband did, and he may never will. But he was still created by God, like every single one of us. Other family members, though, could not forgive. April 1st, 2014, Nathan shot and killed on his morning walk near his home on the city's west side. Nathan was 24 at the time, Simeon Adams, 16. His mother said Adams' plea deal did not offer them justice. Nathan was just amazing, and Simeon Adams can't even begin to understand that because he has no concept of so many things. Family and friends of Simeon Adams also filled the courtroom. They spoke of his past, his mother murdered when he was just a baby. Still no justification for what happened on April 1st, 2014. I can't help but wonder how he could not have the same respect for Cecilia that he grew up without his mother. Though Simeon Adams did have the chance to speak today in court, he did not. He declined. The judge asked him if he had any appreciation for the so many lives he changed that day. He simply replied, no, ma'am. Reporting live downtown, Naomi Peskovitz, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Naomi. And we have been following this case from the beginning. You can read the interviews with Nason Trapezano's mother to see what she says about the plea deal, and also with his widow, Jennifer, who talks about her life with her young daughter, Cecilia. Just click on our story on the homepage.